Okay, this is a scale factor exercise, so we're going to be go ahead and get started on this. So go ahead and open up your your 9A, and uh, let's go ahead and change the uh, the title and the um, exercise number. Let's make sure they're capitalized. And this one is going to be the 14A, 14A, okay, so let's go take a look at what we're going to have to do. Looks like we're going to have to draw uh, three separate rectangles and then we're going to scale them. So let's go ahead and first get the starting point for this rectangle here. So it's at 0 0.5 comma 1.25. So let's go back here, click on line. Let's make sure I'm on the object ready to go object. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go 0 0.5 comma 1.5. I think that's what it was, right? 1.25. My, my bad. Okay, so 0 0.5 comma 1.25. Okay, that's our starting point. How big the, uh, it is. <clears throat> it's 1.875 by 1.031, 1.875, I'll turn on that ortho, 1.875, 1.031, come back, 1.875, and then close it, C enter, we'll close it for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. We're going to have to start at 6.875. That's an interesting number there. Let's go ahead and copy that and come back. So we're going to click here and we'll just paste it right there. Um, did it do it? I guess it didn't do it for us. We can't just do a copy and paste. We'll just have to type it in. So the first point was, let's take a look, 6.875. So let's just go ahead and copy the first one. Six point eight seven five comma five point oh nine four. Okay, so just like that, six point eight seven five comma five point zero nine four. Then we got the starting point for that. Let's go ahead and get to two point two five by point five six two. Two point two five. Two point two five by 0.562, yikes, 0 0.562, 0 0.5, okay, 2.25, then you can go C enter or you can even come back down here to the corner, uh, and or if you want to come to the corner just make sure you have that O snap settings, let's make sure we have endpoint, uh, we don't need node, um, we're going to be using uh, midpoint I think too, so those two should be what we should use right now and come back here. Okay. 2.25. Did I put in 2.25? Let's take a look. Yeah, it is. All right. Mine looks a little bit skinnier, but 2.25 by 0 0.562. I guess that's it. All right, so let's take a look at the next one then. It's uh, Looks like here if we're going to type this point in right here, and then we're going to come down and make the rectangle. So it's 14.5. So I'm just going to go here, go like that line. 14.5, comma, 8.5. Okay, get rid of that. So 14.5, 8.5, and this is going to be the top right corner. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and go down 1.042, 1.042, come back this way, how far we got to go, 2.167, 2.167, and we had to go back up the same height, 1.042 again, 
1.042 and then you can just go ahead and click here to get it closed okay so we got that part uh, let's take a look at the text now we'll just throw in this text right here for factor let's go and do that might as well I'm gonna go ahead and copy take off that ortho where is this one located above it and this one's inside so here and this one's inside as well okay let's go ahead and turn these guys into dim or actually we'll go text light and then this one is going to be factor equals eight we're going to have to change the height of that too it looks like This one's going to be factor of uh, four and then factor of six. Factor. We'll get them lined up in a sec. Factor equals six. Let me get a space after that. Alright, so we're going to have to make the sizes a little bit smaller. So what we'll do is click on it. We'll go modify properties so we can change them all at once. And then a text height, let's go ahead and change the text height here to 0.2. Okay, that's a good size. And then I'm just going to go ahead and move them. Just move it centered up a little bit better, nicer. That uh, looks okay, and I guess we can, if you want, you can move this one over just a little bit. Okay. Now um, let's take a look what we got. we got to draw a diagonal line through here, and we also got to put in these texts here too, so let's go ahead and do that. Put in the dimensions, and then these... Um, multiliters. So let's go. Dim, dim, dim. Dimension linear, right? Here to here. Okay. These are the top and to the right. Oops. So Okay, so remember, um, this doesn't look like exactly what this is here. The arrows are popped out, so we can just go ahead and go. Let me get out my dimension toolbar. Should have that out. Then just go ahead and grab the A button, click on it, and then shove that in there and see how it pops out like that. This also has a diagonal line going through it, so let's throw in that line here. Okay. And then let's take a look how those dimensions are for this one here, top and to the side. Okay, so we have that. Let's take a look back. All right, let's get these um, multiliters now. So base point, 0.5. So dimension multiliter, there you go, right there. All right, let's see how it looks like it cuts through. It goes to the O, so we'll kind of make it like this. All right, so it says base, is it capitalized or what? It's all caps. Let's see how it is. So, 0.5 comma 1.25.5.5 comma 1.25 we can go ahead and space that in there and get a little bit center I guess make it look nicer actually we can have done, gone up here and done um, centered let's do that so it's all nice we'll go center center 
Okay, so we can go like that. No, I don't like that. To move that over, so I'll just go. Hold on, cancel. Let's bring it back to that, and we'll just do this one. Because I think if we hit center, it bring up the text on top of that line, and that's not what we want. Uh, I guess they didn't space it over. Jeez. All right, let me go back in here and fix that real quick. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and do this one now. Um, base point. Or in, okay, we can get this now. Maybe we can type. Let's try if we can copy that, so we don't have to type it in. We'll see something if we can do that. So let's go back to the AutoCAD dimension multi leader here, and let's go paste. I like that. We can do that. And then just make sure it's by layer. Ah, good. Okay. And then we got um, this base point right here. And just make sure we click on the midpoint of that line. Let's see if we can cut and paste this. Let's try that. Dimension multi leader. Find the midpoint. And then we'll go paste. Okay, I like that. Okay, now let's get these guys here. So we got that one. Dimension multi liter. And then make sure we highlight it. Go by layer, click OK. Okay, so if you're using 2011 or actually anything above 2008, it's going to give you a line underneath it. Okay, so if we want it exactly to look like that, um, we just have to go like this. Uh, you can explode it. There's the explode at modify explode. Just click on it and then just get rid of that line right there. Okay, so then it looks exactly like the one on the book here. Okay, okay, so wow, that's just uh, to get the stuff drawn, and now we can go ahead and get ready to do the, the scale factor on this one. All right, so this one here is scale factor of eight. So, and just keep in mind of the base point here, that's what we're going to be clicking on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and modify scale. And it says select objects. Well, we just want to scale this rectangle. So I'm going to click all four of these lines here. And it's asking me where's the base point. Well, it's going to be right here. And the scale factor, it's going to be 8. So I'm just going to type in 8. Enter. Okay. But take a look. See how it changed the dimension? And it also changed the uh, rectangle. So we don't want to be um, leaving those dimensions on. Okay, so here's what you're going to have to do. What I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and save this first. This is going to be 14A. And I want you to go ahead and have two of them. You're going to have a 14A and 14B for me. Okay, so you're going to go File, Save As. Then you'll just make sure you save it wherever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and Lesson 14. I'm going to go ahead and call this one Exercise. EX uh, 14A. Actually, it's this way, right? Your last name dash EX 14A. Okay, there's my 14A. So at least we saved that now. Okay, because remember, when we scale it, it's going to change the size of that rectangle. All right, so here's what's going to happen when we do our, uh, our new one. So now we're going to go ahead and just get rid of these dimensions. Erase those, and let's go ahead and do the scale again on this one. So we're going to go ahead and go modify, scale, select what we want to scale, enter, click on the base point, and then the scale factor is going to be 8, so 8 enter, and then there's that one right there. Okay, and let's go ahead and do this one next. So we're going to go modify, scale, 
Again, select the rectangle. And then you go ahead and go, uh, the base point's going to be right here. And then you're going to type in a scale factor, which is 4. Okay, and then notice that line's there too. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and get rid of the um, base points as well. Yeah, like that, just to clean it up a little bit. So erase that, get rid of this. All right, let's go ahead and do this last one here. So we're going to go ahead and go modify scale. Click on the rectangles. Enter the base points. Click on the base point up here. And the scale factor is 6. And then there's the new one. And then we want to get rid of the multi-leader. OK, Z enter, A enter. And then this is going to be actually 14B. OK, so even though it's not in the book like that, I want you to have a 14A and 14B. OK, now i got to go File, Save As, and call this one 14B. All right, good to go. So let's go ahead and stop.